I look back into my f video five months ago where Entertate was blowing up. I can't watch this shit. It's three hours, dude. Wait, what? I don't know, bro. What I was thinking. But Andrew Tate is back. On track. Alright. This is him blowing up slowly. And kind of staying relevant. And now he blows up again. Because of Greta Thunberg. And then he gets arrested. Uh, which is very weird. People in the pizza box or whatever. I don't care. Um... The web search is interesting, but this is probably because Twitter works in mysterious ways and you don't actually find tweets through Twitter, you find tweets through Google. Anyways, I operate in YouTube, that's what I care about, and uh, Andrew Tate was never relevant as Mr. Beast, but for some reason, you know, I felt like uh, making a cringy video five months ago. I, I guess I will improve myself, guys. And will I evaluate Andrew Tate again? I actually did that. Uh, if you find most relevant YouTubers or something. Andrew Tate actually got a, a perfect score. A 10 out of 10, basically. Um, which is a pretty, pretty deep stuff i mean uh you wouldn't expect this guy uh, to be anything but just some random dude that's trying to scam a bunch of people successfully all right the real reason why he should have been arrested is uh he blows up right his tiktok starting to blow up uh, his clips basically his ideas yeah, and nah, he's promoting this uh, Hustlers University. All this shit has to be washed away, man. All of this shit. No one should fall for this scam. But because, uh, you know, it's so cool to be a part of this gang of some kind. And learn things of how to make money. Even though uh, you probably don't, don't learn how to earn money. You learn how to lose money very quickly. All right, for signing up for these nonsense things. And uh, the way he treats his customers and the way he treats women, basically. Just some kind of next level indoctrination, basically. But he's very influential, very powerful person in terms of uh, how intellectual he is. So can we break it down? Right now, his score should fall down significantly from the top tier, basically. All right. Again, I evaluated this guy, and he's right here. Four, five, four. Three evaluations. However, over time, my way of evaluating slightly changes whatever I feel is valuable, slightly changes. And uh, normally, it just keeps going down. All right. I get more and more numb of information and things people say. And less interested in them. Especially if I get to know a character. All of a sudden it gets more and more boring. And repetitive. So uh, his evaluation should go down right? There's two videos we can watch. The way you find these videos. Is by filtering most viewed content basically. Alright. Normally you type in Andrew Tate. You're just going to get the news. You're going to get the scoops that other people are talking about him. Uh, and that is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for evaluation. Why I need to evaluate this guy? First of all, we're looking for these specific narcissism traits. Also, he showed up in my dream just now. So I'm like, fuck this guy. He showed up like a bully. But also, he showed up so, so blurry to me that I don't know if it was him or not. But he was with his brother and something like that. But it still feels very off. It's like, why would he act like this in my dream? Like, my dreams are never off, okay? But he he is a scammer and he's a potentially a terrible person because he doesn't know when to stop earning money. 
Like, what are you trying to do, bro? Just live your life in the shadows before you get arrested. All right? Stop stop rising, raising fucking waves. Because it's definitely correlated with the Greta Thunberg, uh, you know, blow up. All right? Authorities looked deeper into this and they're like, oh, we can actually grab this guy now. This is probably what happened. This <laughs> He just picked a a wrong a wrong move basically on the wrong person. I mean, what was the point? If if that was the case, if all the dominoes fell because of that fucking tweet, like what was the point? What were you trying to prove, man? <laughs> it's like so fucking hilarious at this point. Oh my god. So uh. This is, he actually, you know, feels the threat of arrest, that's cool, three weeks ago. So I want to see if I can, uh, you know, scoop these uh, two uh, videos up, evaluate as much as possible. Uh, see what we can find. These are like the news. Facing 180 days. That's nothing, bro. But for a very rich and influential person, it's... It's gonna hurt quite a bit. Alright. Uh, yeah. So let's dive in, boys. Now, uh... Do I remember anything about Andrew Tate besides that? Why did I wanted him to stop? By, by the, to be stopped? Because that was the, the video I released and it's absolute cringe five months ago. Yeah, five months ago, I was making a lot of cringe stuff. And uh, I didn't have the deep voice. Because I have to force it, unfortunately. And it sounds so much better when I do. Because you listen to me back, like, it's, it's really crap. really easy to be a woman? What if you never get approached by a man? He would just... Maybe beep, 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 beep. You might play, play a few games with... Uh, it's also very annoying, because... I like making points, and if my points are not clear, if I just show you a still image, that is, uh... uh how do I go into a tangent? How do I start tripping on, on one image? Obviously, I, I watch a clip, and then I pause, and then I talk about it. That's cool. My content style did not change. I know people are, uh... Not willing to sit down and just be bored all the time. But I, I have to improve slowly and surely. So everything is an, an actual improvement and not a change of my content. All right. I don't want to change anything because I'm comfortable the way I am. It's just uh, we go from here, you know. Anyways, uh, let's begin, boys. Introduction is over. Asman Gold, some secondary character in this uh, nonsense. I don't recognize, I, I don't ever recognize any of these podcasts or interviews that he's taking. I don't recognize nobody here. Pisses me off a little bit, but you know, there's millions and millions of people and influencers that I just don't know about, apparently. And we put a crack. So, uh, Andrew Tate is adorable and very lovable person. And probably nobody would go against him. It's just, uh, are, are, you, are you happy being rich or what's going on? Like, what are you, you going to do with your life at this point? You know, what's the point of your life? Are you gonna try and what was the point? You just you just win. You just win life, and now from now on you win life. Now we get to decide how you live your life. All right, Mister Andrew. It, it actually sucks so bad because he's like on top of the world, and it's like, well, you're dead now. You're dead for for the rest of society. You're just literally dead. Not actually canceled. He thinks the cancellation did not work. 
Well, first of all, he doesn't care how what people think about him, first of all. I mean, that is pretty important what people think about you, all right? And uh, if you have hurt a lot of people or people just dislike you very much because you have invaded their lives with toxic ideas, all of a sudden, uh, just you will live with a very weird reputation where people will try to not just cancel you further because that's probably impossible. It, and, you know, internet is not supposed to be... Uh, filled with cancel culture it's supposed to be filled with toxicity in general that's what i love melting people's brains and uh i think uh andrew tate didn't didn't found his match yet of what can actually really psychologically destroy him and i think this is a good place to start just considering that he's pretty much dead after he reached that pinnacle of society he just he has been used you know we uh, pushed him up so we could roll him downhill and see where where he goes from here the torture simulator begins basically and uh, potentially you know the government uh has a good feeling when it's uh, okay to pick up a person and throw him into jail you know a good feeling but let, let's continue. It, it failed, right? No, the cancellation is just simply an expression of how people feel. It, it's not supposed to actually cancel you or whatever. Or not allow you to appear in other people's content, I would say. And you should be talked about still. So, uh, you know, the, the name Andrew Tate will float around. Of course you're not cancelled. No, uh, straight up where you just disappear from the internet. Is that what you expected? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, adult, child, everyone loves me. The people want me to take kid pictures with their kids. That is, that is a weird a approach, unfortunately. I mean, if you just ignore everything, then <laughs> everyone loves you. Yeah, sure. What? I don't I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure there's valid, valid criticisms thrown around. But you know, he's ahead of the time and he, you know, the haters didn't catch up to him yet and they don't know how to approach him. Uh and well, we don't want to feed you hate cuz you eat it up like candy to begin with. And even if you do claim everyone loves you in person like that that's real life my dude on the internet actually you know you get to see real people's intentions and he doesn't get to observe that very often i don't think uh yeah of course in the real world everyone wants to feel safe and they will show you love because you're a dangerous man it's like what the fuck what are, what are you thinking bro bruh Everyone loves me because I... Uh, why wouldn't you? Like, I speak it because I believe. See, the reason why the this is the story like that. You reach the top of the world, basically. You claim everything you always wanted. And you now you're the top G. What happens? Uh, you have nothing, nowhere else to go. You, you're actually... In, uh, in the dead end of your life. Now the society has to pick you up and be like, well, you ha you run out of dreams. Now you're bored. All right, now you're starting to talk nonsense. All right, let's start the abuse, basically. Let's grind him down as cheese, as a block of cheese for our sandwiches, you know, for for our entertainment now. You run out of dreams? Tough luck, my friend. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. But I really appreciate the insight. All right, I'm going to give you a double click for this one. Because it's a candy for sure. Absorb programming is like Andrew is bad. Inflation is good. <laughs> so, uh, ignore 
this part. Uh, yeah, 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 it brings up that. If you were to put me up in terms thing. of performance metrics against other people of my fame, I'm the least misogynistic man on the planet. Another crazy ass fucking statement, basically. Um, what what is misogyny? Do we deep dive into what misogyny is? Um, being a giga chad is misogyny. Approaching women is misogyny, actually. W what? What? I live as a super duper insult, okay? I cannot possibly be misogynistic because I literally don't exist in women's lives. So uh, that's when you are the least misogynistic. When there's. N you cannot possibly be misogynistic and everyone knows it. Alright? Uh, unless, you know, I spread that I hate women all the time. That ideology. This is. Uh, but uh, if I like women for, for being uh, precious human beings. You know, for having some kind of value in general, and I embrace that a lot. I mean, I I will put myself on the scales, and I'll say, you know, I win against his uh, misogyny competition easily. All right, just because you let women earn money or something, just because you turn women into hustlers and. Uh, uh, mothers, basically, of, of his babies or something, just because you have sex with them and you interact with them in real world, does that make you, without, you know, problems, does that make you less misogynistic and, like, very manly because you live in, in their worlds, basically? You're a little fucking doll, basically. You're just a doll for women to play with. All right, you're not a fucking serious dude whatsoever. All right, uh, people would try and probably label me as misogynistic too, but they will fail miserably. They will f fail because I will retaliate on this one. I will retaliate, unfortunately. This guy's like, oh, I just I'll just ignore it, deny it, you know. I'm a doll for women. How could I be misogynist? That's fucking bullshit. Uh, yeah, but what are the consequences of uh, serving women as if you are just like a nobody at this point? You're just a dude that's chasing dreams that the society decided what dreams are. Having cool cars and a lot of women surrounding you, basically. The only way you can surround yourself with women is if you serve them and not necessarily yourself anymore. All right, but let's continue. You know, this, this is just speculation 20, uh, 15 minutes in. Uh, let, let's uh, give him a point and move on. Am I right? It's not going to come back swinging, am I right? All right I'll give a, one more bonus thing, bonus thought. Uh, you would be like, uh, pointing a finger at me. Oh, you're just an incel. No, I'm just a dude that doesn't have opportunities. That's a different problem. All right. And, uh, Andrew T knows himself. Like, you don't actually get messages from him and you get nothing. But I have the entire internet in my fingertips. I can do whatever I want and have any experience I want. And watch porn if I want to. And uh, honestly, I don't think that real life experience is uh, that much different from the fantasy world. The only difference is you're dealing with real people that you might want to, you know, exchange values with. Might want to. A lot of people out there are absolute garbages. Filled with mistakes, misconceptions, uh, all kinds of nonsense. So I just stay in my cell and observe from afar, from a distance, with my ranged attacks, okay? I don't want to touch these people. They're toxic and garbage, all right? And, uh, well, Andrew Tate loves touching that, all right? Loves having all these resources. He's just, uh, you know, he doesn't know 
where to go next, unfortunately. I know, I know all the time where to go next. It's in my name. I can guide you where to go next. Except I can't guide Andrew Tate anymore. I just have a feeling that he's completely lost. And uh, maybe that's why he was blowing up to begin with. Because no one really figured out why he was blowing up. He just did, you know. It's, it's quite a phenomenon why people blow up to begin with. Because uh, he didn't, like, force his blow up to begin with as well, right? Someone else did. Someone else found it fascinating, let's put it that way, of what's going on. And uh, I would say it's jealousy that blew him up. Other men's jealousy. And it's like, yeah, tell us. What is your strategy? Tell us as many things as possible. And a lot of people are going to turn into followers. But if you're very smart, you're going to break down his strategy and uh, stab him in the back with it, essentially. I don't care. I don't care what happens. He's very intellectual. He's very well-spoken. But this time, the odds are not in your favor, Tate, because I have things to say. And that changes everything, unfortunately. First evaluation, pretty pretty good. 170, let's put it that way. 69, no, no you're not going to get 69. These are new evaluations. I'm going to clear one evaluation because uh, everything is changing now. Okay, he did got 169. All right, first evaluation, boys. Good luck, Tate. Try and shut me up. Because that's the only way you can win this game. Is any of it yours? You, you piss off a government. Yeah, this is not okay. Freezing his money is, is not okay. Like, what's gonna happen with his money? Now nobody gets it? Like, excuse me, bro? Let him bail himself now. I don't know, bro. This, yeah, what, whatever government comes up with often becomes absolute insane cringe. Uh, we're gonna fro freeze him. Why, bro? He's not convicted of anything. But society hates you. Uh, I'm... You know what, what society hates even more? Silent authorities. How about that? Alright. Try to, try to shove, shove that up your ass, Mr. Government. I will definitely make Government is Bullshit soon. The video series that I run. You know, well, uh, Government will be there eventually. Maybe 65 million if you'll mention this coin on a podcast. 65 million mm. to say a name. And mm. I don't do it because I refuse to allow my fans to get ripped off mm. like Logan Paul does to his fans. He's a fucking mm. scumbag. So. Yeah, I'm trying my best to attack Andrew Teed, but he's already under attack. And uh, I'm pretty sure he is actually capable of diverting his, uh, you know, every single attack that I would put on him, he would just be able to divert it to someone else that is much more problematic of a person and doesn't have influence whatsoever. But uh, he has to do it a proper way, basically. If you want uh, a shield from a sniper rifle as a narcissist, that's gonna cost you a lot of monies, man. Oh, boy. Not even for the fans, you wouldn't just... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Andrew Tate knows how to make sure that he's, like, incredibly safe around him. He gives off, like, this positive energy and influence. But then, uh, the reality check is, uh, this title right here. His company is a scam. And you think about it, it's like, the, uh... The girl, he turns girls into scammers, he turns men into hustlers, 
and uh, toxic people, basically. That's what toxic masculinity is, is fighting really, really hard for money. Oh, you, you're going to get kicked out of society immediately. And your leader is going to be shot in the fucking face immediately, too. So you guys are lucky he's in prison. Celebrate that. As if it's uh, the end of the world. Because uh, we're coming for you next. Whoever is a ta tater tot right now, we're coming for you, bro. Ain't nobody get gonna get scammed in the society, all right? Not on my watch, all right? Oh wait, I'm I'm an insult still. So you guys have plenty of time, actually, <laughs> until I reach out to real snipers and start popping heads, all right? And it's not a threat; it's uh, more or less, you know, uh, a metaphorical thing. Because, uh, you know, you, you just, through a few interactions, you just smell people's brains. Pick, uh, pick the tater tot out of your brain and put something else in that, uh, you know, will have a random effect. I, I don't want to put a bullet in your brain. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be too easy. I don't like easy games, bro. Nah. Tate kind of doesn't deserve it either. Unfortunately, because he his assets got taken away from him, and now uh, his the blame shifts on whoever has uh, scammed him all of a sudden, you know, and is trying to shut him down. That is unacceptable too. There's there's a whole fucking mess right now going on, and uh, I could have never predicted that, but at least I'm aware just enough to actually understand what the fuck is going on. So I love that part. I'll give him a double click. I was like, oh, I like this video. And then uh, the video just kind of ends at four minutes and he goes to a fucking weird ass satanic pedophilic story. He was like, whoo! <laughs> Did someone just went off a cliff after hanging on to Andrew Tate? That is a that is a knockout, my friends. I've never seen this before. That is hilarious. I'm like the the vibes just shifted from something like like okay, I understand what you're talking about. You like very inf uh, intelligent dude to like wait. Why did you pick this up? Is that a bomb? You're suicidal too. <laughs> what is happening, bro? Oh my god, let's continue. More because, um... Potentially his uh, journey of uh, chasing dreams was actually finished before he started blowing up. Alright? Then he just like realized, oh, I want this thing. So someone in the shadows, more, way more influential than Andrew Tate, figure out, oh, this is a powerful person, and he's very smart and honest all of a sudden. Let's make him talk in these fucking podcasts. How do we do that? You know, how, how do we make him talk all, all over uh, about his ideology, basically? And essentially, he has a chance to survive this nonsense, and... Uh, but he got himself into trouble. And troublesome people, you know, that have a lot of power or resources, well, they have to blow up, you know, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think there's, there's something uh, very fascinating going on behind the scenes, I would say. 242, very nice score. Now, apparently, the 242 is actually... A positive score. So 250 would be uh, excellent. <laughs> Back in my day, I had 300 points, and I still think it's average. But you see, I, I've changed my mind on things, so I don't know. It is what it is. Let's continue. Yeah, literally, give me... The thing is about Shadow Realm, once you pop out of the Shadow Realm, you're on your own, kid. You're on your own. Now we, we don't really have control over you. You can be as popular as you want, as influential as you want. You can be in jail for as long as you want. 
and lose as much money as you want, as quickly as you want. Do whatever. Uh, being controversial while being popular is not a very good combination. But this guy thinks, uh, oh, I can just do whatever I did in the Shadow Realm in a scam people kind of-ish, right? And he's probably like in this super contemplative state of like, okay, now I'm popular and I have no way of actually controlling this narrative anymore. People hate me, but everyone loves me. Like, ugh. he should be so confused of what is going on after he's blowing up. Despite this being like a positive-ish thing you can look from a positive perspective all the time, it's not gonna save your fucking ass if you're not aware enough of what actually is going on. And I think he's actually smart enough to understand this stuff if he watched this video. But uh, this is gonna be fun to actually look, sit back and watch, you know. Grab popcorn, guys. And we're not done yet. I want to watch all of these videos, actually. This is going to be quite a ride. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the introduction to what, what we're diving into. I have to do chapters at this point. Let's go for it, boys. So yeah, it comes from the shadows. And it's very, very difficult to blow up. Alright, unless you have a team of people working on you. Or you have very good ideas. Someone like Dream blew up, you know, the Minecrafter. And he's like, oh, I have to re reveal my face. How do I do this properly? Also, I'm running out of ideas. What do I do now? It's like, wait, what? Hey, dude, you're a YouTuber now. You can't do that. You can't run out of ideas or not have enough ideas of how to fucking introduce yourself to the society. What is wrong with you? Oh, you're an incel that plays Minecraft for too long. <laughs> we figured it out. Oh, oops, it hurts. It hurts Minecraft community that a person like that actually exists. The most awkward little shit of, of all time. Alright, I'm glad I fucking uh, went out of Minecraft because it was set on fire. And uh, started spawning these fucking creepers. Technoblade is uh, no different, I would say. All right, where did that cancer came from, Mr. Technoblade? Please explain. Oh, you can't? Now you're dead. You know, normal people don't really get cancer when they're, like, in their 20s. Like, what is that? It's a mystery fucking gift from gods, am I right? Cancer is quite a mysterious thing. I don't think so, man. These guys are fucking toxic little shits out there. And, uh, you know, internet is full of that crap. Uh, but... I... I love investigating it, and I love diving deeper. So, uh, and again, Andrew Tate is no different. It's another blow up, glow up, and uh, another roast in the darkness. Back to the darkness. Except this time, you're not welcome here anymore. You have resources. As long as you have resources, Shadow Realm does not like you. Alright? You're not going to be accepted here. You're not going to have your fantasy world anymore. Your brain is fried, all right, of all the responsibilities that you have in keeping your resources safe. So, uh, unfortunately, Tate is in a really tough position where his relevancy is just dying off. However, now he has fans. That is the, the, the only resource that he, he truly has. People that might want to protect him. If you're one of those people... Congratulations. Post things in the comments. We're going to have a discussion. Let's see how tough you are. All right, if you still like this guy. I like this guy to some extent, but I like everyone equally, kind of. You know, the more content they put up, the, the more I like them. And there's four girls that will kick at anyone's ass because of how much I like them. You know, whoever I like makes them stronger too. It's kind of uh, nice being a fan sometimes. And knowing uh, your true powers and potential uh, of what it's like to actually support people sometimes, even indirectly, just from a distance. Just knowing that at some point you're going to be ready to swoop in and save the day with just filling up a cup of coffee, coffee right? It's, that's it. You just did a, did a thing and just went on your way. 
And maybe you'll get rewarded for that. <laughs> but maybe that was just good enough. So you save the day. You know, it, can, it continues on. But in, in my case, obviously, I'm not just filling up the cup of coffee. I'm creating a content after content. And uh, maybe it's a, a two-minute clip that will blow up eventually. But uh, and, and that's, you know, the coffee moment. But the, the, you have to also take in consideration all the preparation that has been going on and how much observation I had to make to make sure that the solution is simple. But what it solves is very profound. Anyways. That was uh, my speech. Uh, I don't want to hurt Andrew Tate for it. Let's go to the second chapter. It's so unfathomable when you used to make like 1,500 pounds a month and you lived in a council estate and it's crazy, but money just has no value and you just get to the point where you do whatever you want. And, and No, <laughs> you, you don't get there, unfortunately. And this is the broken mindset that blew up Andrew Tate. All right, from the Shadow Realm to like, hey, look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> Judge him as much as you want. We don't want him in the Shadow Realm anymore. He can be as popular as he wants to be. Because uh, the moment he goes into the normal realm from the Shadow Realm, all right, where he's making all this money um, and all claiming all these pow superpowers, basically. You see, he says last three years... He got to the point, that's cool, uh, your timeline is very cool, but he, he goes to the normal world, and all of a sudden, the normal people are like, wait, this guy is rich, has a lot of girls, he's like the top G, he has everything, pretty much. So, uh, what does he dream about? What is his next move? What, is, what does he want to buy from us? All of a sudden, everyone's curious. All right, everyone has a big ass eyes on him. All right. <laughs> well, what is your next move, Andrew Tate? Not a chessboard anymore, is it? Not an intellectual battle anymore. You're in the normal world. Oh, you want to be popular <laughs> and influential. Good luck cr crossing that uh, normal world. Just because you blew up, that doesn't mean you're popular or influential. Being cancelled actually works if you never become popular. If the only thing you did is blow up and smash yourself into a wall of cancellation immediately. Because people, you, you, people need a little bit of time to judge you for who you are, unfortunately. And the... Uh, oops. <laughs> you get smashed into the cancellation wall if they don't like you. Alright, the cancellation wall is between the normal world and the popular world. The popular world is like, who splashed into the wall, guys? Let's check it out. Let's talk about this guy, this dude, you know. We're gonna talk about you. Doesn't mean that you're gonna get to exist, unfortunately, right? Oh, oops. Uh, so, here you go. You, you, Sapphire? Where's the Sapphire? <laughs> Sapphire, what? Uh, whatever. He just said a random word and it says sapphire. Ah, mm, we broke it. We broke him. We just broke this guy. All right. He, we broke his ideology and identity and everything. Just completely broken. He, he's now figured out. It's it's difficult to. Uh, Look from the right angle, but once you get it, like, it's over, dude. Slave class of people who buy bullshit so that I don't have to do bullshit stuff, which is great. So, uh, yeah, you just have to look from the, the not my perspective, where it's like, oh, this, this is a relatable dude who, you know, speaks the truth and everything. He's just too popular, you know, and he's offending everyone. And his lifestyle is unsustainable for anyone whatsoever. He's unrelatable. He's uh, just just painful to listen to if you are a normal person. For me, it's like, it's, it's candy to my ears. But now I understand, like, this is not acceptable to society. And uh, honestly, 
I don't care what happens to him, because, you know, I'll run this scam of, like, not liking Andrew Tate anymore. How about this for a scam? The greatest scam of all time, unfortunately. He was golden. He was featured in uh, YouTube Rewinds last year. Will he make it this year? I want to see what happens. I'm very curious. He's not too far off from the, you know, the border and we can kick him out. But people have to try a little bit harder than this, all right, to actually cancel him successfully. Because, you know, he might slapped into the wall, but the, his spirit lives on. You know, the explosion and everything. You still have to fix the wall to make sure it's, you scrape off his remains and, uh, you know, put put those remains into a secure place that we call prison and all that shit. It's like... There's a there's a whole storyline going on surrounding this whole incident of his cancellation. It's a pretty interesting thing. It would be interesting if they just named the wall Greta Thunberg all of a sudden. That splash then happened. It's a pretty interesting name. I don't respect Greta whatsoever, and that's probably her moment of fame, honestly. So that's pretty cute as well. I love this shit, man. I can finally use Andrew Tate as some kind of resource myself. But if... Uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna judge. I'm satisfied. Because I have my... All I had to do when he was talking about slavery, more than slavery, is that... I don't like it, though. I know there has to be people that do things and feel like slaves. But I don't like it. That's it. Just a little bit of empathy, just a little bit of the ability to actually really want to help other people. But nah, bro, I'm conducting this operation and I'm gonna make a lot of hustlers in the world that do exactly the same thing as I do, will have exactly the same powers as I do in disrupting society, right? That's why this guy is ridiculously dangerous. He keeps his shadow ideology in, in the world of light. He keeps his monster form where you come from the shadows, you have a monster form. You just keep it. That is so nasty, bro. But I enjoy this uh, amazing story that is being unfolded and I'm gonna give him a double click because he just uh, created a candy again. Until you're no longer useful anymore, and that's... Uh, I have a completely different narrative for normal people, unfortunately. And that's why he's in the monster form. He doesn't even understand anything, bro. He's just completely clueless, like, why am I here? I want popular people now. Okay, let's go. <sighs> so we... Hmm. He calls out a few people that are popular, but he's not actually, like, Chasing for it, but it's like, why are you doing all these interviews? Why are you trying to be honest about everything? It's kind of weird, right? So he's kind of like a tamed animal in a way. Because that's what would happen immediately if, like, you're still in the monster form, and now we have to tame the shit out of you. The Tate. Tame. Interesting. Anyways. So uh, he's wrong about the Matrix, or that people are brainwashed and they're just gonna bend over to whatever it's not happening all right that is that is not happening unfortunately if you soft enough people not only the government gets control over the people but also every single person who is not soft who actually has influence of their own as well so uh everything will backfire eventually normal people actually live normal lives and they get rewarded pretty quickly for the effort that they put in. The effort they put in, they get rewards very quickly. All right. That's uh, called living a normal life. I can't do that. I'm not connected to society. I'm completely disconnected. I'm in the shadows. No one wants to talk to me or interact with me or even tell me how to do it to begin with. I was disconnected from a very long time. All right, and uh, 
that's the mindset that, that brews eventually. You turn into this monster where you think like, oh, well, people are brainwashed, people are rejecting me, I have to force my way in, basically. Uh, none of this is actually how it's done. It's just you have been disconnected for way too long and you don't know how to operate in society anymore. But at the same time, don't think that society is not some dumbass little uh little worlds of idiots basically bumping into each other and hoping that their randomness is gonna uh, be successful that's also uh, you know a misconception that the normal people have about themselves they feel powerful because they have numbers on them but if they don't have sanity they have nothing all right they don't have leadership they don't have any ability to control their lives anymore and uh, when the monsters come out to hunt, they have to sacrifice something. You have numbers, but you have to make sacrifices too with those numbers, unfortunately. So, uh, uh, Andrew Tate got tamed and uh, removed from the board. Someone like me, if I come out to hunt, I can probably just eat half of the world as if it's made out of candy and the rest of the half might be able to resist me and hide uh in all sorts of sorts of places to make uh, my life miserable but like it just feels so easy to just destroy most of the world right now i don't want to do it i don't want to force my way out it's the the moment you when the every everyone is soft everyone is easy to attack you don't do it, you just sit there and hope for the best for them. You root for the normal people. It's like, <laughs> you just become a cheerleader. In the Shadow Realm, this is the moment you become a cheerleader for everyone. It's like you're trying to have fun with these people who just have miserable lives and trying to be nice to each other, and it's not working out. It's it's such a fascinating thing. Not really candy, but double click for sure. I feel like Andrew Tate is like fucking guiding me towards uh, this amazing understanding. And uh, despite the low score, I will still give him, you know, my seal of approval. The best option. Another twist in the story is that he's so, so in love with the Shadow Realm. He just lost all his dreams, basically. Uh, or he wants to be irrelevant in a way. So he's trying to be as honest as possible, so we, he creates, he just extends Shadow Realm further, because, uh, you know, he's trying to spread ideas that are somewhat controversial, somewhat very difficult to accept, most people wouldn't be able to understand them, all that stuff, just to try and extend the reach of Shadow Realm or try to feed it somehow, as if it's his job to do. Uh, again, the idea is like he's a monster out there and he's trying to uh, influence other people to follow him and turn into monsters themselves. And they can't live in a normal world anymore if they remain monster form, unfortunately. It's just like being a werewolf in Skyrim. They have to hide that shit, you know? They can't just brag around. The guards is gonna start attacking them. It's like you're you're a monster. I don't like you anymore. All right, it's just that's how it works. But if you integrate yourself into society and you fight against evil, I don't care what kind of superpowers you have. Uh, you just have to use it at the right time. And is it happening right now? I don't know. I mean, there could be like cool twists like that in the story as we move forward. The constant competition idea, he's just filled with shadows, and he cannot clear his fucking mind. It, now I just look, it's so gross. He went off the shadows and it's like, I'm blowing up, now let's go to the popular kids club. You're not welcome there. They act completely different from this thing. Alright, so you're not welcome. So, who are you, right? He's in a very weird predicament. 
It's in the constant competition. These these people can be murdered so easily. These NPCs. Uh, c clearly you don't understand the vibe. You know that's that's not the point. To be uh, to feel in, as if in in constant threat of uh, for your life. You want to be an NPC, so you don't care too much of all the influences are around you, so you can just live your life, whatever that might be. All right, if you start trying too hard, uh, all of a sudden you you might start losing a lot of stuff that you have that uh, the normal world provides. It's very hard to actually balance everything, and this guy does not appreciate whatsoever. He just Calls it Matrix, calls it constant competition, just... No, bro. Relax! Alright? You, you sat in the train. He's He just sat in the train and was like... Wait, everyone's fucking stupid and losers. Why are they acting as if it's... It's normal, it's not normal. I come from shadows, it was dark the whole time. And he's like... Dude, it's a different realm, dude. But, you know what's funny? The funniest thing? He says he has to wear glasses. He's just stuck with glasses. Looking cool all the time, basically. But he actually, actually has some kind of eye condition. And it's so hilarious. Like, it's definitely another indication that you come from the Shadow Realm. And it's very easy to actually uh, spot the difference. But, uh, yeah, interesting. The money you want, and I will- Another reason why you don't say the world is competitive. It's a vibe, alright? The moment you show stress in the normal world, people are gonna be like, question, like, wait, this, this guy's different, what is it? They're gonna gossip, they're gonna do so, so many uncontrollable things that it's gonna blow your fucking brain off. It's unbelievably difficult for a normal person to become all of a sudden competitive. As he wants to fucking uh, shove his personality down people's throats. That is bullshit, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's bullshit. And, uh, but I will take his advice. Uh, and, uh, when I leave Shadow Realm... I'll be clean of shadows, alright? I will allow normal people to look at me... I will just uh, meet someone in the middle and live a happy life eventually. Not normal life, because I have a shadow past, I can't just deny it. But uh, shadows will stay in the shadows, alright? When, I, when I, I will need to visit the shadow realm, I'll do it carefully, alright? When I want to be a monster, I know where to go for that. But uh, when I want to live a life, I want to be normal, unfortunately. Yeah, with someone, uh, with people I love, surrounded with people I love, it still will not feel normal whatsoever, because I'll be in a different level of sanity. Obviously, because I deserve it. But, and I will be like semi-popular and whatnot. That's, that's the prediction of my future, it's pretty cute. All right, I'm not predicting threat of arrest for myself. That's that's not cute, unfortunately. I'm predicting good things because I'm uh, I'll be prepared to have good things that I truly want and not just lust for to grab as fast as possible so they deteriorate in the future very quickly and they're taken away from me basically. All the all the toys that I grab with all the powers that I have, and then explode of how stupid I, I was the whole time. I have to express this, and it's gross, but uh, if you bow down and suck authority's dick in the form of pills, I mean, that, that, uh, that is fascinating to me. Unless you're forced to do it, then it's like, yeah, it's, it's sexual assault, and let them let them have it. You know, they will lose it eventually. I'm forced, but uh, 
then you don't don't have to think about it sex sexually. You don't have to exaggerate it like I do, but you do have to exaggerate things. All vibes have to be exaggerated. You have to be sensitive human being. I don't care if you're normal, popular, or in the shadow realm. You have to care. All right, it's just a very important thing to do. Principles are across the realms and may not be broken. It's something I I get to learn as a shadow person. I have plenty of time, and uh, nobody cares what I say, so I can test a lot of things. Right, I can test my principles. I do have limited amount of time, and I have to learn fast. Uh, especially if I have big dreams coming up, you know, like I have to be prepared to some extent. All right, at least be prepared to be helped in a way, and it's it's gonna crack me up potentially. I mean, the things I I have to be prepared for are probably pretty crazy, but uh, here we go. Very interesting life coaching stuff. And the fact that I just jumped in and, like, I'm prepared to actually take his advice. And it's like, wow. That, that is fascinating. That, that is a fascinating sacrifice now. Of all of a sudden, a person who got stuck in a normal realm and normal people reali realized, oh, we can just sacrifice it to the shadow people and make more shadow people for them. So that's kind of what happened in the end. Tate, Tate doesn't actually get that much credit for uh, what happened to him in general. It's uh, everyone else, else's effort. Because this guy has to go into other people's uh, podcasts and all that stuff, get asked proper questions and all everything. And I, I can't wait to, for him to interact with women, women now. You know. This is fucking uh, ice cream for me. I don't know how long this video is, but, you know, that is unbelievable. Let's go to the new chapter. Yeah, no. I will never stay a loser. Ah, being sacrificed for the sake of Shadow Realm sounds like a loser to me. <laughs> I've, I mean, not winning is pretty much uh, losing. You can uh, switch up your perspective as if you're still winning and pretend you're still winning. But I I don't think about that. I wouldn't say that. You have to chip away the thing that you want and you can get cannot get anything more than that unfortunately in life. It's a very it's a very predatory system in a way if you think about it. But uh uh if you constantly say it's a, everyone's competing against each other, well, kind of, because uh, they have to survive. But the predator nature is like the moment someone pops out and starts uh, stealing people's wealth and bragging about it, uh, you have to put on some kind of brakes on that shit. You just have to. It's so much cringe. It's so unacceptable. Because uh, uh, it's not necessarily that you're stealing people's wealth. You're also uh, telling people that this is an acceptable thing. It's That's the problem, you know. That is the multiplier of a problem. Right? You wouldn't be able to uh, be caught so easily if you just did your operation in silence. But the moment you fucking open your goddamn mouth, Will Smith is gonna fucking slap you. Because you talked about his wife. Why you talk about his wife? I mean, his money. And fame. And all the, the things that he wants to keep. Alright? Popular people get to decide where you're gonna get cancelled or not. Not really normal people. You can breeze through normal people as if it's your ultimate matrix. Alright? You can just breeze through is the popular people decide how tough the wall is going to be and whether it has a hole in it or not, all right? And uh, Andrew Tate got cancelled by them because they have the influence to tell normal people, it's like, okay, 
uh, normal people are just spectating in in a way of whatever the shadow realm decides or whatever the popular people decide we're kind of just at war with each other in a way like indirect war it's so fucking fascinating to understand these things slowly understand i mean holy crap bro that is so fascinating Honestly, Andrew Tate is the best person in the universe. I will worship him and uh, may luck lead to his way and may he figure out another way to live his life. A new identity of some kind. Because the things that I'm, I'm learning right now is uh, beyond my wildest dreams. His story is so fascinating. No wonder he was influential to begin with. Uh, I'm just so impressed. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he keeps bashing with the competition. Oh my god. He's so delusional about it. I... Oh my god, the narcissism. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm here to... Flex my Ferrari and flex my expensive watch cause to show how cool I am and how rich I am and how I don't know where to spend my money anymore because life is fucking miserable and stupid. Deep down, he does have depression. He just negates everything. Like a fucking lunatic. It's just... Ugh. He just crashed his reputation all of a sudden even further. It's just uh, now he's just a s spectacle to look him rolling down the stairs. I guess I don't know, bro. <laughs> God damn it, bro! <laughs> Stop shoving this competition thing. Do I have to skip? I don't want to skip. Oh my God! Narc. I'm I'm done with this. Ninety nine percent of what men do is for status. He's just brainwashed. What the fuck happened to this little shit? I don't want to take any credibility for him being a fucking monster. Nah, he's the most normal fucking piece of garbage I've ever seen. Status. He just figured out how to talk. You know, for the first time, and he's like a fucking baby who knows how to talk. After he earned money. Very weird combination of things, but fuck me, bro. And now, now I'm in the roller coaster. Who am I? What am I watching here? Money. We're, we're constantly in combat because of our status. 99% of what men do is for status. We want to be in good shape for status. We want the fast car for status. We want the nice house for status. We want the diamond watch. We want the hot girl. This is all for our status. Look at me. No, I, everyone wants to feel good and be happy. What stays this? What? Bro. But again, he doesn't have dreams anymore. <laughs> Whoops. Status, 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 dude. Status, you know. So, when I play Hearthstone, all other people want to do is win, right? Hmm. I did notice that. I didn't notice. Every time they play a game, they want to win because that's the only thing that will make them happy. It's pathetic, all right, to look at normal people and decide what principles are based on them and then start laughing at them. I just call it bullshit and move on with my life. But this guy is like, if I have status, everyone's gonna look at me and it's so fucking cool. I'm also a baby. Could have possibly spread or shit. I love friendly competition. I love friendly competition, but when people are just bashing their brains into a wall and call it a war or sports or whatever name you're gonna come up with, it's so pathetic to look at. It's like fucking vomit, man, inducing nonsense. And this guy is just eating up vomit from the floor. It's like, oh, I'm winning this competition. I'm the fastest vomit eater of all time. Look at my status. <laughs> Fucking crazy, bro. Why I write another super misogynistic move that Andrew Tate makes is uh, 
Do you know any of the girls that he's with? A single one. No? Ah. So he has all the status, but he doesn't actually share his status. Very fascinating stuff, I would say. You know. Obviously, well, he treats women as his, uh, purchasable objects. Well, I purchase things, and I purchase women with status. Wow. What a business I'm running. And I get good feelings out of that. <laughs> But you want good feelings, right? Not status? Which one is it? Because now are women involved, so you, you buy women with status, so that's why you wanted status this whole time? So weird, right? But again, then, if you give women status, why are they not using the status? Why are they not actually claiming any of the status? And also, they get money instead? That's a weird one. But then, like, only men want status. Women are not supposed to be famous or popular. Very interesting point of view, but I think it's misogynistic that way. All right. And that is the most misogynistic thing. It's off offensive to women, basically. I don't like the word misogynistic because it sounds like crap. But the most offensive to women thing is to not share the values that you have with women, because if you love someone, you just share all the values. It's not that difficult to do. <laughs> they have to be prepared for the, those values to be shared, because it's, it's a very complex thing. But that's what settling down is all about. So there's this monster out there. We go back to the same story. Monster out there wants to consume a bunch of pretty women for himself. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'll definitely gonna get away with that. <laughs> yeah. Not on my watch. <laughs> oh, wait, it's too late. Oh, fuck. Well. N nice knowing you. A hundred thousand dollar watch. Nobody gives a fuck. Mm. It's just like, the, there's levels to the mm. game. And when you get up to the top, you realize there's money everywhere. The mm. abundance mindset, there are so many rich people. So if you're not where you want to be financially. Oh my God. We got into some uh, level, basically, of insanity. Not sanity anymore. Being rich is definitely insanity. Because uh, you're, you're technically a criminal. You're a dead person if people wanted you dead. You'd be dead instantly. If people had a button to press where they get uh, even a 2% of your money, they would press it immediately. They wouldn't give a fuck if you die. So uh, think about it. They live in insanity world. I was like, okay, uh, I need to come up with a solution of how to, you know, tax the rich properly. They're just like fearless people right now. All we have to do is just spread fear to these idiots and uh, they'll bow down. Because the second generation of the internet isn't gonna fucking uh, let rich people slide. I'm sorry, bro. It was fun while it lasted. But you better not show your face anymore. Alright? Because uh, it just shows immorality. The second generation of internet will have its own currency to begin with. It's kind of the foundation, the, the border for a lot of stupid people like that and insane people like that who think they can just buy their way in. Uh, we have to block these fucking idiots who have only solved the one thing in their lives. I want to be under. I actually... Enjoy it. Mm. I'm a warrior. I'd be bored any other way. Mm. I want people coming for me. Mm. That's what I want. But if you don't want that, then, mm. then don't build a life that does that. Mm. Where I have is that uh, those that can't take that sort. That is so messed up. Again, it's just the shadow mindset that he's just keeping. But he's being brought into the light, and it's like, what do you want, Tate? You can have anything you want to settle down with. And prove that you're not misogynistic. Please try and do that. Settle down with someone that will share your values. 
doesn't have to be just one person. But you have to fucking settle down or you're gonna get not just cancelled but absolutely destroyed and not gonna be bored anymore, am I right? The scariest thing I can uh, reveal basically well, usually we treat people backwards, right? We treat uh, rich people with respect and uh, poor people like myself we just keep them in the shadows, which is wrong unless you can handle it that way keep me in the shadows properly not just ban me immediately whenever it feels like it and uh, accept every single rich person because they have money and they might spend it they're rich because they're not spending their money all right <laughs> the rich they, they probably just want to plant some seeds and steal your money too you gotta be fucking careful so people are not educated enough to actually attack rich people and uh, rich people manifest themselves all of a sudden. It's so annoying. The world is so torn right now and I can't wait to change that. Alright. I'm salivating. So, uh, you can help me out, maybe. Oh wait, I don't know who you are. You have to first create your identity. Break through the first layer and actually exist on the internet. How cool is that? That's gonna change your perspective entirely, I would imagine. Because a normal person existing on the internet, I mean, wow. What a change that would make in your life. Not mine. No matter what I do in my life, it's not gonna make a single dent or change or whatever. Because socially, I just don't exist. I'm not connected with anyone. But everyone else, if they make small changes in their life, it ripples out quite uh, quickly, like a sh shock wave. Ah, fascinating stuff. It's almost the end. I don't actually feel like um, extending myself into the women world. I could take a bite, but I feel like I want to just finish this off. It's too much already as it is, and I'm running out of hobbies okay just scrolling through Pinterest I don't know what else to do bro at the moment I have to have a hobby while I listen to someone I can't just do nothing unfortunately and uh, playing card games is not exactly what I want to do at the moment you to join networks yeah, yeah yeah the anxiety attack basically it's like Oh, now you're blowing up, Tate. You never never really asked for it, did you? But, like, you have all this power and sanity. You can talk to people now. You like that? It's so fucking crazy, dude. There's definitely some shadow person who's way smarter fucking controlling this guy's life. Because he's... Uh, I don't know what actually triggered me, so I... Just lost my thought. One second. Ice cream. If you're in a room full of people who are billionaires, and guess what they're talking about? Money. And guess what you're going to learn about? Money. <laughs> oh, this makes me laugh. But it's uh, like... Money, 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 money status. Oh, yeah. Money, money, money. That's all we're going to talk about. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. You know what I talk about with my people, which I don't have? Uh, buying a sniper rifle uh, as quickly as possible uh, with your name on it. Yeah. You deserve it. <laughs> you're just not going to get it. Whatever is going to come out of the sniper rifle, you're going to get it. Just uh, tell us when, the, when you want to receive it. Trajectory I'm carrying on. I want power! <laughs> to do what exactly? You can buy anything. Well, what kind of power do you want? What? Where did that come from? Jesus Christ. But yeah, that, that's nice. Status. Very nice status. Money. Talk about money. And po talk about power, bro. 
Oh wait, no. Doesn't stack very well, but I don't know. Card. What do we do about? You do have to sell your soul for something. <laughs> wild card. Yeah, definitely a wild card. In the in the ocean of normal people. Now we have to hunt him down. Everyone is in the, on the hunt for NGT. Everyone. Everyone's excited about this shit. Oh, wait, he slammed him into a wall, maybe? Who knows? I'm just uh, giving you guys ideas of what could have happened. But kind of did, you know, the, the Greta Thunberg slam into a wall moment. Why would he chase a fucking little girl and fucking throw a clip at her? It's, it's not, that's not a conversation. You, you can't just go from uh, 10 to 100 out of nowhere. <laughs> You, you you got caught in that sense. Is that what you wanted? Because, uh, you know, if you want power, you're going to be disrupting society. If you want power, die! Fucking die! You're going to get power of your fucking imaginary world, bro! Fucking die and faster! That's how you get power! Get the fuck out of here, bro! Narc level 4, man. <laughs> I can't drink this shit. What is this shit, bro? Oh. Anyways. Shit, I have to create this shit. Let's, let's get a taste of this. Because uh, I think that was a very good conclusion. Uh, you create your dream world while you live. And when you die, you get to claim that dream world. And the rest of the world dies. <laughs> you know. In case they killed you. But you get to live in a dream world. But then this guy shows up and is like... <laughs> I don't need a dream world. I'll just take as much power as I can get from reality. Reality is my dream world. Oh. You driving with your Ferrari? <laughs> There's spikes everywhere now. <laughs> Where are you going, bro? <laughs> also have machine gun. <laughs> no, no sniper. And I'll deal with you directly at this point. Fuck my life, dude. Ah, we found the toxicity just spilling out. Just bleeding out of his anus. It's a funny word. I have to use it. Anus. So, I want to give you guys the conclusion. Maybe we shouldn't watch this. But uh, the conclusion is pretty simple, right? I don't know if, like, these women, like, pick up the vibe and uh, start to smell, you know, that pr the problem with a person. Because that's what women do, usually. They they pick up a problem and they make it worse and worse, basically. <laughs> Expand the problems a person has, the flaws. Uh, so, that it, w it would be fascinating, but maybe, you know, that is the scoop. So, uh... Entertate is a, a scammer and a power creeper, apparently. But most importantly, uh, if you're not using power for anything, if you don't want anything, why the fuck do you want power? Because you have to take away power from someone. You have to still continue living in an insane competitive world just because you're so addicted to power. It's just so fucking disgusting to look at. What the fuck is this creature? It's a super Tate now. He wants to turn into a super saiyan and get get hair again. He wants to get the long hair, you know, when he's super saiyan level 3. <laughs> For fuck's sake, that's what he wants, man. I figured it out, guys. Spread the news. I will do my... Two minute clip of this insanity. See you guys next time. <laughs> oh, you want <the> evaluation? <laughs> evaluation my ass, bro. Evaluation my... <laughs> what is this creature, bro? Super Saiyan level 3, bro. Here you go, your evaluation sucks. Not bad, actually. It still sucks. So yeah, uh, anyone above 250 is pretty cool now at this point.
and we bumped him down. Barely he's reaching that. Well, he hit a wall, basically. Fascinating. Now evaluation just became uh, a lot more exciting. See you guys next time. That was that was really sweet. Victory yet again. Making another cool video.